Hi everyone, welcome to this yet another AWS video. In the earlier AWS auto scaling group video, we learned how to create auto scaling group. So in this video, we learn how dynamic auto scaling works by using step scaling policy. So what it means is how the auto scaling group will dynamically allocate new EC2 instances and deallocate them whenever not required. So based upon the resources required, the auto scaling group will automatically add new instances and whenever the resources are not required, it will scale in. That means it will reduce the number of AWS EC2 instances. So, so today we'll be doing the step scaling policy. So let's go and see it. Okay. So we'll be learning about dynamic auto scaling policies today. Actually, EC2 dynamic auto scaling policy allows the increasing or decreasing of the EC2 capacity, the number of EC2 instances of the auto scaling group based upon the resource requirement. The, we have the desired number of EC2 instances, right? So that will be increased or decreased based upon the resource requirement, okay? So this dynamic auto scaling policies allow us increasing and decreasing of the EC2 instances as per resource requirement. So there are three ways to do it, okay? In the dynamic auto scaling, how we can do is by using step scaling, in step scaling, we use multiple steps to increase the EC2 instances in every step. Maybe from when the resource utilization reaches this, add two instances. When it reaches to another, add two instances. And the reverse also can happen for scaling in. In simple scaling, you got only one single scaling adjustment. Okay. In step scaling, you have multiple. You can use multiple and in simple scaling, we have only one, okay? And it has a, simple scaling has a pull down period between each scaling activity. Now target scaling, tracking scaling increases or decreases the current capacity of the group based on Amazon CloudWatch metric and a target value. So we will have a CloudWatch metric when it reaches that particular, say, uh, that particular utilization, then will set this many number of EC2 instances to increase, okay? So that is based upon the, that is called target tracking policy scaling. So today we'll be doing step scaling. So the key takeaways today, we'll be knowing what is CloudWatch alarm and what is step scaling, okay? So let's go and see it. Okay, so here we are in the auto scaling groups. This is the auto scaling group that we created. Now what we want is we want to create dynamic scaling policy so that whenever there is more resource requirement, the number of EC2 instances in our auto scaling group will be scaled out. And then if the resources are not required, then it will scale in. Okay. For that purpose, we first need to create CloudWatch alarm based on which our scaling policy will kick in. So I'm going to create two alarms, one for scaling out and one for scaling in. So I'll just say create, I'm just, I'm in the CloudWatch console. So I'll just say create alarm. I'll select a metric. It's related to EC2. And then I'll use it by auto scaling group and our auto scaling group was ASG 10001. Okay, and within this, I want the CPU utilization. Okay, so when the CPU utilization in this particular ASG auto scaling group, okay, we need to provide the information here. We'll provide one minute so that like our testing will be very fast. So here we'll put when the condition okay that the CPU utilization is more than 50 more than or equal to 50 percent then it will scale out okay then we'll just say next i'll just give an email for 
the notification then i'll just say next i'll give the alarm name i'll just give the alarm name as al 10001 this is alarm alarm okay alarm i'll just say next and i'll just say create now next i'll create for my scaling in policy okay ec2 i'll follow the same process same but this time will be choosing this also in every one minute will be choosing lower or equal to 30% okay next then we will say this state is in okay state and then i'll put an email here then i'll just say next i'll give the name stp in for scaling in i'll just say next and i'll just say create okay so now what i need to do is this is for stepping out so let me see if i can edit so i'm not able to edit it to change the name or maybe i can change step okay next next or oh, i'm not allowed to change the name okay so now let me just remove that and create it okay the for the step stp out delete okay so let me create the alarm set metric ec2 auto scaling group ast 10001 cpu okay select metric one minute to make our testing faster and get it then equal to I'll say 50%, and then I'll say next. Then this is in alarm state. Notification. And then I'll just say next. I'll give the name STP out. Next. And then create alarm. Now. If I go to my EC2 instances and the auto scaling group, I can create my dynamic scaling policies. So I'll just go to auto scaling, then I'll say create dynamic scaling policy. I'll use step scaling as I already said. So in this, just give the name STP out. So the CloudWatch alarm STP out. And then we'll say add action, add how many two instances? Four. Okay. Yeah. So that's all. Now we need to add another one for scaling in. So create dynamic policy. Again, same step scaling. STPIN. STPIN. Then we'll remove. Okay, for EC2 instances. Okay, just say create. So now our auto scaling policies, dynamic auto scaling policies have been created. So now what I need to do is 
I need to go to one of the EC2 instances and then I need to create the stress so that the number of EC2 instances is scaled out from 4 to 8 and then I need to remove the stress so that it will come back to 4 again or 2 which is the minimum required okay so let's go and see the stress creation now okay so here we are in the auto scaling group so I'll go to the instance management and I'll go to one of the EC2 instance then I will take the private IP address and then I will go to the cloud cell it is already open here and then I'll try to connect to the EC2 instance okay so this is our EC2 instance so once I connect there I'll try to do the installation of stress producer okay I have a text file here that has the steps so I will just connect to my EC2 instance so paste okay so okay so I need to take the public IP address so let me take the public IP address copy paste okay so here I'm inside the EC2 instance okay now I'll create a space here so for creating the space I need to first install the Amazon Linux extras EPL package okay repository so copy paste okay Okay, it's installed now. Let me stress the stress package. Okay. So once the stress package is installed, then I can do the stress creation by using this particular command. Okay. Copy. Okay, the stress installation is complete so now I'll just copy paste that command here paste okay so now what this will do is it will create stress on this particular EC2 instance and based on that our number of EC2 instances must be automatically scaled by four numbers and it should go to the maximum that is eight so let's check that out Okay, so now let's go to our auto scaling group. Okay, activity, it will take a minute or so. See, it's already started. Okay, it's changing the capacity from 4 to 8. Okay, so the number of EC2 instances should increase to 8 see it's 8 now okay so our EC2 instances have increased from 4 to 8 they are still in launching state so once they are running they will be visible here This takes some time to launch. Okay, so let's go to our auto scaling groups and still check. Number of EC2 instances. Instance 
management in service all are in service now so it should be in the ec2 dashboard now see we can see the eight ec2 instances are running now okay so this is how we can create the stress now if i remove the stress then it will return back it will reduce back to the phone number of ec2 instances or minimum number of ec2 instances that is two okay so before that let's see the alarm okay in cloudwatch so one of our alarm should be in alarm state see this is in alarm state okay so what does it mean it means it is not okay now this is in alarm state now if we go to the this uh, 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 if we reduce the cp utilization this should be okay and this should be in alarm so let me just go and do the cleanup okay this Okay, it's already cleaned up. So let me just let's just wait for some time. Then we should be able to see that our number of EC2 instances have scaled in back to four. Okay, see now it's four back to four. If you go to auto scaling group and check your number of EC2 instances has come back to four. And desired capacity is also four. It may further reduce. Okay, so it may further reduce to the minimum that is the two number two. This in the activity. Okay, from eight to four. Okay. Okay, it may still no. It will not reduce because we have already. Remove the stress, and now it has reduced to four. See, you can see the in the activity. So this is how auto scaling group works with the step scaling policy. Okay. So next we'll see our tracking policy. Okay.